to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video okay so today we're going to be doing part three of this Q&A because it was really really long so I wanted to kind of uh, put it in parts so we're just gonna jump right in because I have the laptop right in front of me I just kind of changed a little bit so that it looks a little fresh and new um, so we're just going to jump right in. And this question comes from Spiritual Diva. Everybody that submitted questions, thank you guys so much. There were so many questions. And this is actually really, really fun for me. So when did you start your YouTube channel and why? And when did you go on a spiritual journey? What was the first thing you manifested? So when did I start my channel? I started my channel and also um, when did I go on my spiritual journey? So I started these things after a death that, I, that happened in my life. Uh, and that death just really spiraled me. It just really, it was the darkest time of my entire life. And that's kind of where I kind of learned about my spirituality, got my confidence in it. I practiced and gained more confidence. And now I'm like where I am today. But that's kind of where it started. It started from a, a really, really, really dark, probably the darkest time of my life is when I start, when it started. Uh, and what was the first thing you manifested? So the first thing I ever manifested was a crow's feather. Ever since I was little, I had this fascination with crows. And when I got older, I came across the book, The Secret. And there's a whole story that goes behind that, but I'm not going to get too much into detail. But, uh, you know, in there, they she kind of teaches you how to go about manifesting the first thing you ever manifest. And for me, two days later, literally two days later, Specifically, I said a crow's feather and I've never seen one in my life before. Um, and then two days later, I manifested it and I still have it and I smudge my entire house with it and I smudge myself with it. So that's the first thing I manifested. But the next question comes from Nikita Swarnaker. Nikita, are you married? Love it all. You changed my life. I am not. I am not married. Um, next question comes from Justina Iotor. Hi love, love your videos, very real. Please, question is what to do with, to pass an interview, especially a visa interview. Also what to do, sell a landed property fast. I would say bay leaves, write it that you sold it, how much you sold it for. I would say script it out, how much you sold it for, what are you wearing when you sell it, what are you gonna do with the money, um, write it all out. Like I would say those things and work with brown candles and cinnamon. Um, those things are really good. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and then the next question comes from Melissa Roby. Hi, Sito. I'm waiting for a new job. Should I burn a candle? Bay leaves. Bay leaves. I always say bay leaves. It just opens up so many doors. It opens up so much luck. Um, and then for a new job, bay leaves are really good. And then I have a few spells on my channel that you could really use. Um, for for new jobs, I would suggest to use uh, lots of cinnamon. If you're like burning a candle for it, um, use things that attract. So catnip, valerian. Um, what else would be good? Calendula, marigold would be really good. These things would be really good to attract. Pyrite crystals, citrine crystals. Um, nutmeg would be something else you could use. But the next question comes from Rissy K.O. Y'all up on here asking questions that Google can answer. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, next question comes from Black Cherry. How to manifest money quickly. You look so beautiful and peaceful. Love you. Thank you so much. Um, how to manifest money quickly. I feel like you have to really also adjust, or not adjust, but really heal your energy of money. You have to really, um, you know teach yourself that money is not bad money is not something you should be struggling too hard for um you have to fix your relationship with money and how you can do that is with spells and journaling and really asking yourself questions about money what was your first experience with money like uh, what is your relationship with money right now so those things are also like little spells that you can cast over your life is these little conversations that we have um so yeah the next question is Ashanti Hamans. You are so gorgeous. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Um, the next question is Benita Shrith. How to stay self-motivated? I keep a planner. 
Um, I really, I have a notebook right here, but uh, my planner is somewhere over, over there. But um, I keep a planner because I forget so easily. And if I don't have a planner, if I don't write things down, I'll forget everything. So that's how I stay motivated is with my planner, really. Um, so yeah, the next question is how to lead a happy life. Well, I think this has a lot to do with ourselves and knowing our boundaries and knowing the spaces that we're supposed to be in to feel happy in. Everybody is different. So I feel like, you know, that's the best advice that I could give for that question. Um, let's see what other questions are there. D Thea says, good night. I'm looking for information ASAP for promotions, for jobs and interviews. What incense can help me and how to use money candles, please. Money candles, I would advise always use cinnamon on it, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, because these, these oils in the herb form come in abundance. So you want to use these oils. Um, and then coconut oil will just give you more ideas for, you know, how to make more money. Um, and ASAP for promotions and jobs and interviews, like for luck, I would say burn bay leaves. Like that's the best thing that I could say right now. Um, the next question is, hey, beautiful, love this picture. Thank you. And then we have um, XUXA. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Bank B. Bella. I don't know what that means, but hi. And then, yes, that's all the questions. So I knocked out all the questions. It's three videos, but finally we're done with the questions. If you guys want another Q&A, let me know, and I will answer it again just like this or however you want it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.